New at 6, a threat forcing high schoolers in Grand Blanc to go home. Administrators say it was out of an abundance of caution after the school went into secure mode with an increased police presence. Thanks for joining us for the News at 6. I'm Meg McLeod in our Flint studio. And I'm David Custer in Saginaw. Police say the threat was sent through Snapchat. It's the latest threat toward a mid-Michigan school in the last several months. TV5's James Felton spoke to a student about the incident. I think that it was kind of a stupid prank. Like, I feel like someone just pranked us and they thought that it was funny and spreading it around. Grand Blanc High School student Madison Graff tells us she's not a fan of threats on social media that sent everyone home early today. School administrators say the move was out of an abundance of caution. The school had previously been in secure mode and there was an increased police presence. I'm kind of glad that they took precaution because last year we had another threat and they didn't really do anything. So it was nice that they actually did something about it this time. School administrators decided to have students go remote for afternoon classes. It's just like COVID, so it's kind of a regular experience that we've already had before. Graf tells us she's looking forward to being back in school in person on Wednesday after a scheduled day off for the election on Tuesday. I love being with friends and I like we had some projects to finish and do and some presentations. So that kind of got set back that I was ready for. Graf is hoping this is the last time threats disrupt the school year. They're really stupid because some people really do take that seriously. It's not something to joke about at all. Reporting in Genesee County, James Felton, WNEM TV5. State officials report an increase in threats following the Oxford High School shooting almost a year ago. Genesee County officials say they're not taking any threats lightly and that anyone making them towards schools or students could face felony charges.